everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Has the Lord been good to you? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you. We are so thankful that you tuned in. We're so thankful that you walked in on today. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Thank you for tuning in via Facebook. Thank you for walking in to refreshing fountains in your physical body. In everything you do, give thanks. We just welcome you and we invite you to praise the Lord with us on this morning. Hallelujah. If God's been good to you, let us praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody ought to praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Come on. 
God. Forgive us of our shortcomings. Wash us again, oh God. Wash us again, oh God. Breathe on your people. Send your latter rain, Lord. Send your latter rain, Lord. Rain on our souls, God. Rain on our souls, God. Help us to stand in these last and evil days, oh God. Oh God, you told us in your word, oh God, that perilous times were going to come. God, we're living in those perilous times. And God, we need your help today. God, if you don't help us, we won't be helped. We need your help, oh God. We crying out to you today, Lord. Help us, God. 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 We need your help, oh God. All over this land and all over this country. We need your help, oh God. Lord, let your power and your glory be made manifest in the earth, oh God. Tear out everything that's ungodly, all unrighteousness, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, rebuke the hand of death right now. Stay the hand of death, oh God. We bind every murdering spirit. We rebuke all violence, oh God. All in the land, oh God. Oh God, touch our leaders, God. Touch our president, God. He needs your help right now, God. Oh God, touch.
touch in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, oh God. The land is in need of a healing, God. The land is in need of a healing, God. You said in your word, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you would hear from heaven. Then you would forgive our sin. And then you would heal the land. God, we come to you now, Lord. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, Lord. We turn to you, oh God. We turn to you, oh God. Heal us and forgive us, oh God. Heal this land in the name of Jesus. We pray for every nation, every nationality, every tongue, every people, oh God. God, you are not a respecter of persons. You love all of us, God, and we pray for everyone, oh God. We pray for the homeless. We pray for the, the orphans, the widows, Lord. Those that are less fortunate, God. Make a way, oh God. Make a way, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Cast the devil out of the mind, God. Cast the devil out right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our families, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our homes, oh God. In the name of Jesus, your blood still has power, God. Your blood still has power, God. Oh, and we plead your blood right now. Bind up the devil in every evil work, oh God. Cast the devil out of the mind right now. We come against the spirit of suicide. We come against the spirit of oppression. We come against the spirit of depression. We come against anxiety. We come against stress. We bind it up in the name of Jesus. And we loose the peace of God. The peace of God to the mind in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. You are a defeated foe. You have no dominion over the people of God. We put you under our feet today in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead your blood now. We plead your blood now, God. Oh, God, there's power in your blood. There's healing in your blood, Lord. There's deliverance in your blood, God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we pray that you continue to bless our leader, oh God. Touch him now, God. Touch him now, God. Give him your wisdom, God. Give him a fresh anointing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, let your power and your glory be made manifest in his life. Quench the fiery darts of the enemy now. Oh God, lift him up, oh God. Lift him up, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the saints everywhere, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for them, oh God. Stir up the pastors, Lord. Stir up the leaders, oh God. Stir them up, oh God. Help them to cry loud and spare not. Help them to preach holiness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, continue to bless our bishop, oh God. We thank you for him now, God. We thank you for him now, God. God, anoint him the more, God. Keep him in good health. Keep him in good strength, oh God. Lord, give him everything that he needs, oh God, to complete the work that you have assigned him to do. Lord, bless his companion today. Oh God, we pray that you give her a fresh anointing, oh God. Anoint her today as she brings forth the word, oh God. Give her what to say to your people, oh God. God, we pray, oh God, that you continue to look on us, oh God. Oh God, we love you so, God. We love you so, God. We love you so, God, because you first loved us. You loved us in spite of ourselves, oh God. And God, we can only return it unto you. Now, God, let your will be done throughout the furtherance of this service. Bless us and keep us, oh God, and we'll forever give your name the praise. These and all blessings we ask in our son Jesus' name, and we call it done. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is fifth Sunday. It is our women's Sunday, and it looks like we're out of the gates and off to a running start. Amen. Amen. Anybody happy that the Lord woke you up? You're happy that he let you live to see another day? And you're happy that you woke up with your right mind? You're just happy because God has just been good to you? 
Hallelujah. 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 At this time, we're going to move right along. We have a word coming from our first lady, our elect lady. And she is looking very elect this morning. But she always brings uh, the message she did, the fragrance of the house. That's just been like her trademark. And she has her own fragrance. And I'm looking forward to the sweet odor that she's going to release to us on this morning from the word of the Lord. But before that, we're going to have our Old Testament scripture reading from missionary Arnita Dodson. Immediately following her will be missionary Sandra Woods. Say amen. You all can have your seats. Good morning, saints. Good morning. I'm coming to you with the Old Testament scripture. Would everyone please stand for the scripture reading? Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming from uh, Proverbs 31, starting with verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far. Just lost my word. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what you get for using your uh, right. iPhone. Uh, it's far more than Ruth. Hallelujah. And why would this have to mess up on me now? Um, anybody have to, my phone keep jumping. That's what I get for using my phone? I think I don't need it. Okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here we go, I think I got it, I got it. Who can find a virtuous woman? But her price is far above Ruth. Amen? Hallelujah. And moving down to the 25th verse, it's saying, Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also. And he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. May the Lord have a blessing to the reader and the hearer of his words. Amen. I'm reading today Romans the 16th chapter 1 through 4 and I just wanted to say one thing before I read God has been good to me my weight used to, kept going down I almost got to 100 pounds so God is bringing me up, and I thank him for that. Yeah. Romans, Romans, the 16th chapter, I command you unto Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church of Assyria, that ye receive her in the Lord as becometh saints, and that, that ye assist her in whatever business she had need of, for she has been a scorner of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ. Verse 4, verse, um, the third verse says, Greet Priscilla and Aquila and my helpers in Jesus Christ, who have laid their life down their own necks, and to whom not only I give thanks, but also all of the church, churches of Gentiles. 
And then further down, it greets Mary and Julia and Olympus, and you read the rest of that chapter. May the Lord add a blessing to the sweet word. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to do something a little bit different on this morning. Now you can have your seat. <laughs> uh, we're going to have what, we, what, what we're calling a moment from, with Mother. And Mother Shaw is going to come and just give us some motherly words of wisdom and encouragement. Say amen for her. surprise. I thank God for the opportunity. It's probably good to uh, have something to ask you to do something. But with the law, but the law is good to me. I can't have nothing to complain about. And I just thank God for the opportunity to stand before you. And I am going to my pastor and my beautiful love. Like, don't you look beautiful today? <laughs> Yes, kid. But all I can tell you that uh, go to Proverbs five and three and five, and that why this why I live by every day. Because you know we had a truck in Southern School one time. Uh, don't worry, I don't worry. That's that's me. For I learned to. Go to Proverbs 5. Trust in the law with all your heart and lean not to your understanding. For in life, you, in life, no matter what you do, how you live, someone's going to misunderstand you sometimes. They may take, take things the wrong way sometimes. And you really don't know what to do. Well, all I can tell you, pray to God. Because sometimes you cannot go to your, you cannot go to peak sometimes. You, if, if you go to so, so bad your life sometimes, you can't go to nobody but God. So as you learn to, well, no matter what you're going through in life, and you trust in God, and don't depend on people, depend on God. Because no matter what you're going through in life, and you ain't been through nothing, trust me, you will. If you live long enough, you will go through something that's going to throw you for a loop. But still, depend on God, no matter how, what it do, what it make you feel, how you feel, go to God, and he will direct your path. Thank you. Amen. Just a little something the Lord laid on my heart, and I kept calling. Mother Shaw is hard to catch sometimes. And she just happened to be, I could see out the bathroom window. She was coming. I said, oh, let's, let me catch her now. That was beautiful, wasn't it? I feel encouraged. Y'all feel encouraged? Amen. 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 Well, we are. The train has left the station. We've stopped, made a couple of stops along the way. I think we're about to reach our destination. But before we do, we're going to do what I like to call a participatory praise. I make up words sometimes. That might be a real word. I don't know. A participatory praise. <laughs> we're going to do just a, a couple of little praise songs, and then we're going to turn it over into the hands of our elect lady. Amen. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget.
to turn the service over. I'm done with the conducting at this moment. I'm going to turn you all over to the engineer now. Say amen. And let's bless the Lord for our first lady. Amen. Amen. Glory. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you. Oh, bless your name, Lord, bless your holy name, Jesus. Oh, I thank God, I thank God, I thank God. I praise God, I praise God, I praise God. 
God has been so good, saints. So good, so good, so good. I just give him all the praise and the glory is thine. It's his, not mine. You may be seated. I just thank God for this opportunity again. It's a new year, hopefully a new me. I'm claiming that this year. I just praise and thank God for everything, for each and one of you. I'm going to get right to the message right now. God has given me a one-word title message, and it's called Righteousness. And I went to the, uh, the scripture of Proverbs 12 and 28. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. When I was given this word righteousness, I thought immediately of a time when Elder McClinton's son spoke a word here for us one year. And in his preaching, he mentioned something, which I found very profound and has stuck with me to this day. And that was, he wanted to introduce us to his sisters. And he says, we really got to, we, we really got to get to know his sisters. And so we're all waiting in anticipation, and I'm thinking to myself, his sisters? I thought he only had one sister. So, and I didn't see him come in with any other family members. So he said, I just want to introduce you guys to my sister, Grace and Mercy. So we're all looking in the audience for Grace and Mercy, especially me. I'm like, oh, then it dawned on me. God's grace. Thank you, Jesus. And God's mercy. Thank you. So in my message today, those words are synonymous, and I thought of another synonymous word to my word, righteousness. So I want to introduce you guys to my brothers, and these are synonymous words, and I want you to get to know them. And they're called holiness and righteousness. Thank you, Lord. So we kind of, I kind of wonder, well, what, what is righteousness and what does it mean to be righteous? Well, I found biblically that righteousness is the perfect holiness of Christ. Also, another meaning was righteousness is an essential, we got to have it, characteristic of God. We cannot even get into heaven without righteousness. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. But uh, we just can't get in there. For righteousness, it's a simple explanation. One who is right. Just right. But you, you got to be careful with that even because we have people, like the Bible said, that they're doing things that seem right in their own eyes. And those people to me are like self-righteous. They're the self-righteous people who strongly believe in the righteousness of their own thinking, their own doing, and their own way. We don't want to be like that. Another definition of righteous would be, think of it like the polar opposites of each other or the polar opposite of sin. We have God, we have Satan. We have evil, we have good. We have righteousness, no, we have right and we have wrong. So to commit sin is to go against God's design for our lives. I used to always think about this word righteousness like, ooh, that's a big word, it's unattainable. How can we be righteous? To me, the word righteousness had a high, high standard. How in the world can we be righteous? You know, and, it, and, and in this word righteousness, you, to me, it just, you got to be perfect. And I'm like, oh, nobody's perfect. We're striving for perfection, but nobody's perfect. So how can we have this perfect righteousness? So I, uh, <laughs> you want to know. <laughs> All right. All right. In the Bible, it tells us that Noah, Daniel, and Job were said by God to have righteousness. And there were other people in the Bible that were said to have righteousness by God. And that's because their lives were filled with choices to put God first and not sin. However, even though they were righteous, they still fell short of the perfect righteousness of God. 
And Ecclesiastes states that there is not a righteous man on earth. And in Psalms states that there is no one righteous. So what does it mean, no one righteous? I'm like, oh, Lord. So you're going back to what I originally thought. Nobody can be righteous. But it's referring, saints, to human beings that uh, it's referring to no human being is righteous or in the right standing with God. No one is right in God on their own. So it's not an impossibility. It's not an impossibility, saints. We just can't do it by ourselves. Thank you, Lord. The only way that you and I can be righteous before God is through faith in Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. 1 John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. A more familiar scripture is found in Romans 10 and 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Christ came to this earth to die for our sins, and it is through Christ that we are imputed with this perfect righteousness of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And that's God's plan to bring righteousness to us. It does more than save us. It helps us become the person God intends for us to be. Jesus' entire earth on, mission on this earth was to reconcile man back to God. Putting man in the righteous standing with God through the righteousness of Christ. It said that many things are in the eyes of the beholder, including righteousness. We want to look righteous. A lot of us want to take on that look and say, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that to look righteous. We read our Bible, we quote the scriptures from here to there and every session, in, 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 uh, every, uh, every time we have church, we quote our scriptures. Getting the word out to the people. We work in the food pantry. We help the poor. We become ushers on the usher board. We join, join the choir, become a choir member. We clean the church even. There's no lying. There's no stealing. We're not cheating. We're not killing. Not even physically or with our tongues. We're living a moral life before men by following all the moral laws of God's word. But saints, you know what? We don't have to produce our own righteousness. We do these things because we are righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So when we are judged, if we have done no wrong and we are innocent, we are right. We are righteous. One who does good and not sin. In our pursuit of righteousness, saints, I go back to the scripture that Sister Clavin mentioned in her prayer and Bishop Burton mentioned on Wednesday night Bible study, 2 Chronicles 2 and 14, if my people, y'all know the rest. And he picked out the words, yes, turn from their wicked ways. We need to turn away from our natural, sinful desire, saints. We need to turn to Christ and his perfect and righteous ways, not our ways. 2 Timothy 2 and 21 and 22, if a man therefore purge himself from, the, from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. So flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, saints, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure pure heart. Our reward for living a righteous life is up through the obedience of God's word. Our reward is peace in this world and eternal life in the world to come. God wants us to prepare ourselves and he wants us to allow him to prepare ourselves for eternal life with him. Through this pandemic, a lot of God's people have fallen away from grace. We've fallen away from mercy. We've even fallen away from holiness. We've fallen away 
from righteousness, denying Christ in our lives. Saints, we need a revival. And not the kind of revival, we don't have to wait on the pastors to bring revival to the church. We need to have a revival within ourselves, our own personal revival. That's what we need. In our homes, in your secret place, wherever, just have a revival within yourself. Get out on your knees and repent. Ask God to forgive you, bring you back. Ask him to forgive you for the sins you've omitted. Ask him to bring you back to where he wants you to be. And in this, just pray that the Holy Spirit comes down on you, overshadows you in a fervent, feverish prayer to God. And in this prayer, the Holy Ghost will indwell you. It'll overflow within you, saints. We don't have to continue in this way. We're in this pandemic, true enough, but we don't have to accept what the world has to offer us in this pandemic. We don't need to forget God at all. In our revival, we try to bring ourselves back to God, just as Christ tried to reconcile us back to God in his death, which he actually did. I pray that everyone will have a revival within their hearts, a revival to bring out what God wants you to be and continue to, to preach the gospel like he has asked us to do in his word. I'm praying for each and every one of you to do this. And I pray, and I pray that you will continue to pray for me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Righteousness. Righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Righteousness. Woo. was a short, power-packed message. Hallelujah. 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 She told us what we need and how we need to be. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, that concludes our service for today. Um, if you would like to give, I'm going to ask Sister Chrissy to come, because you do that so well, to tell the, our Facebook audience how they can give. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't done this in quite a while. Yes, yes. If there's anyone who desires prayer, would you please stand? Amen for Sister G. Amen for Brother Prentice, Sister Shana. Hallelujah. Sister Seats. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm trying to get somewhere in God myself, so I'm already standing, but I'm going to raise my hand. And I'm going to ask our elect lady if she doesn't mind. She brought such a beautiful message, and she told us what to do and how to do it. So if you would come and speak a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, look down on these that are standing before you, Lord. They're looking, Lord Jesus, to you for strength, Lord. They're looking to you for comfort, Lord. They're looking for you, to you, Lord Jesus, for many things. Oh, Lord Jesus, answer their prayer, Lord. Do it now, Lord. Do it now, Lord, like only you can, Jesus. Oh, your Lord, you know what they need. You know what will help them to get closer to you, Lord. Do it, Lord Jesus. Touch the hearts. Touch them right now, Lord. Lift them up, Lord Jesus. Lift them up right now in that name. In your name, Lord, in your name. Oh, Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you would go with them to their homes, Lord. Anoint their homes, Lord. Help them, Lord Jesus, to, to look to you in your word, Lord. Look for you in your word. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, bless them right now, Lord. Cover them, Lord, under your blood. Cover them right now, Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. We give you all the glory and the honor is thine, Jesus. Amen and amen.
last but not least, if there's anyone who would like to commit their heart, give their heart to Jesus. If there's anybody here who would like for God to save them and that you would become engrafted into the family of God, I'm going to ask you to please stand. It's not a complicated thing to do. In fact, it's really kind of easy. You just come, and we'll talk with you, and, and uh, I'll turn that over to the bishop if anybody's coming. But once you do it, you just do the best you can. You don't have to try to do like anybody else that you see who's already saved. You don't have to even do like maybe somebody's told you how it's supposed to go. You just come and do the best that you can. God will accept that, and he'll take you higher when he's ready for you to go higher. There's something for us to learn on every level that we're, that we're on, but that's what spiritual growth is all about. So we're going to ask if there's anyone here who would like to give their heart, give their life to Jesus on today. Would you like to be saved? If you would, I'm just going to ask you to make your way to the altar. And if you're listening, in case there is somebody, it's really just that simple. And I'm going to ask uh, our bishop, if you would, if there's any, for those of you who may be listening, that said you want to be saved, I'm going to turn it over to the hands of our bishop. I certainly enjoyed our first lady. I saw the maturity this today, and she's my help in a time of trouble. I can turn to my wife, and she understands me, and she encourages me. She see what I have to go through, and I see what she has to deal with with being a first lady. And, um, but I saw her preach from her heart this morning. She preached to refreshing fountains. My wife, you, you all just don't know how much she loves you all. And um, over the years that we've been in ministry and the sacrifice that we've made, that we might have a quality Holy Ghost-led church. We're just the hireling. So if you're here this morning, we're like the custodian at the school, young people. We're there to keep and maintain the building. But you belong to God. And it is our job to make sure that you are nurtured and that you are watered and that you grow. You don't want to become stagnant like I heard uh, Elder Butler in the lesson this morning in the Sunday school lesson. You don't want to get in a place of comfort. Many people want to join churches where they feel comfortable. That's not God's church. God's church is not a place for you to feel comfortable in. We come that we might work out our soul salvation. I pray that there's not any here that, oh, on Facebook. Oh, I'm sorry. I, th I thought they had turned it off. Uh, if you're out there on Facebook, wherever you might be, I know that we are speaking to more than just people in our ministry. We speak to people around the community, around this nation, and around the world. People are tuning in all over the globe. And if you want to be saved, confess your sins. You can't name them, but just ask God to forgive you and give you a chance to serve him. Believe that Christ died for you. And he rose again that you might have eternal life. Wherever you are, you don't have to jump over a pew. You don't have to run 
and fall on your face. All you have to do is be sincere in your heart. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. And when you believe that, you say. That's the first step. God will do the rest. And all you got to do is just seek God and ask him to fill you with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost comes to keep you saved. It's our sustainer. It's our preserver. It is the thing that gives us power to live right. And she said, we can't do it by ourselves. Paul said, it's not I, but the Christ that liveth in me. And the Holy Ghost represents Christ in your life. Thank you, Jesus. It's so sweet to walk with Jesus. So we're praying for you. If you don't have a church home, there's not a church near you. You can tune in to us every Sunday and every Wednesday and make this your church. But I'd rather for you to try and make the effort to find a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church that believes the Word of God. But until you can find that, we'll take you in. We have those that will take your name and take your number and will call you and pray with you. And we will work with you as the leader of this jurisdiction and church. I pray for you. I pray for your health and your healing and your deliverance from sin. And at this time, I'm going to turn it back into the hands of the giver. Let us say amen for missionary Jalita Burton. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, at this time, we're going to, um, I'm going to have Sister Christy come, and she, she can share, if you would, how to give. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and sign off. We have some other things we're going to do. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. The Bible chooses to be a cheerful giver. Amen. And we know here at Fresh and Fountain, when it's time to give, we get excited. Amen. So it's time to give. Hallelujah. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Are you happy that you're able to give? Oh, glory to God. We truly thank God on this morning and to our ones. To the individuals on, on Facebook Live, you should see on the screen where it gives you instruction how to give. If you want to be a blessing and sow into this ministry, you can give through uh, Cash App at Dollar Sign Refreshing Fountains, or you may give through Gildify under Refreshing Fountains Church of God in Christ in Benton Harbor, Michigan. When you pull it up, you will see our handsome bishop face on there. So we encourage you to give on today. But the song says you cannot beat God's giving, no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more he'll give back to you. And so we want to encourage you to give. And just know when you're giving, you're not giving on stony ground, but you're giving to good soil. As we work in this community, we probably bless this community and help others. And your giving Help us to do that. So we encourage you to please give, and we're going to bless your offering, your seed on this morning, that the Lord will restore it back unto you. Gracious Father, we come to say thank you. We thank you for another day. Lord, we pray for this offering on this morning that you would just bless the giver. Bless the one that's going to give, Father God. Let them go no lacking, Father God. God, we pray let your, your, your seed be used to the up, builder of your kingdom. And this we do pray in thy son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to turn it back into the hands of our giver.